Welcome to the John H. McGill School Mental Health Certificate Program Virtual Orientation. My name is Samantha, and I'm here to help guide you through the policies and procedures associated with your participation in the McGill. So, how did we get here? Well, the McGill was established after the Department of Mental Health and the South Carolina Department of Education developed a joint initiative for improving access to school mental health services for all students in South Carolina public schools. The development of the McGill was to help assist in closing the recruitment gap that was identified by the South Carolina Department of Mental Health and to help ensure that school mental health professionals are trained to provide mental health services at an individual and group level. Students involved in the McGill will also learn how to implement evidence-based practices in schools while understanding the interconnected systems framework. Knowing the background of the McGill can help you reflect on the importance of your role as an intern this year. In your email, you have been forwarded the manual for the McGill. Please follow along as we go through the competencies and guidelines, progress checks, professional practices, dismissal policy, professional development requirements, disability services policy, and the communication flowchart. As a reminder, the purpose of this video is to act as a guide, but you are responsible for reading the entire manual and reaching out to your supervisor with any program questions. We hope that after this orientation, you will feel more comfortable with your role in the McGill. Alrighty, let's get started. So here's an overview of the McGill. It is a 600 hour internship at the Department of Mental Health through the School Mental Health Services. As students, it will be your responsibility to track your own hours and work with your supervisor to create a schedule that ensures that you meet the 600 hour requirement. In addition to your 600 hour internship requirement, as a McGill intern, you are responsible for completing 30 hours of professional development. Professional development will be managed by the University of South Carolina team and will be posted on Weebly.com. We do want to emphasize that as an intern at DMH, you may be asked to do additional professional development, but the only professional development that counts towards the McGill is what is posted on Weebly.com. Great! Since you now have a bit of an overview, please follow along with our manual as we discuss more specifics related to the McGill. To receive the McGill certificate, students will complete tasks associated with four major competencies. First, students will need to meet DMH-specific competencies. This may include becoming proficient in DMH software. Second, students will need to meet school mental health clinical competencies. For example, you will need to shadow three group therapy sessions. If this is something that is not available at your school, please brainstorm with your supervisor to find a school you may be able to go to to complete this task. Third, students will need to meet the School Mental Health Framework Competency. Our goal here is to help you better understand the school system. So attending at least two PBIS meetings is essential to learn about it. Again, if you're having difficulty meeting this requirement, talk with your supervisor and find a solution. Finally, students must meet the School Mental Health Professional Development Competency. A large component of this 30-hour competency is that you will need to attend the Southeastern School Behavioral Health Conference. The Department of Mental Health has agreed to fully fund interns for the conference. As a reminder, the purpose of this virtual orientation is to briefly go over the manual, but please be sure to read the manual over in detail along with your supervisor to ensure that you understand each individual task associated with each of the four competencies. With various graduate programs and students involved in the McGill, we want to make sure that we know how you're doing throughout your internship experience. Progress Checks helps us and students keep track of how they're doing in the schools. As you'll see in your manual, progress checks occur at month one, three, and five of your internship experience. We are aware that students complete their internship at different paces, so please be sure to keep us updated on your completion of your milestones throughout your own individual process. This means you may send us progress checks more frequently if needed. You have been selected for the McGill because of your passion and interest in school mental health. With that being said, we understand that everyone comes to this internship with different experiences.
The professional practices portion of the manual is here to outline the professional expectations as an intern with the Department of Mental Health school-based services. Please read this in detail as you'll be expected to follow these practices throughout your internship. This part of the manual highlights the seriousness of completing each and every competency mentioned above. Please follow along with me as we discuss the process of being dismissed from the McGill program if requirements are not met. As you see, students will be issued their first warning if they are missing requirements and will be asked to complete a detailed plan of how they will make up the missed work. A student will be issued a second and final warning if they have not completed yet another requirement of the program. If this happens a third time, the student will be dismissed from the McGill program. This means they will stop receiving professional development, funding will discontinue, and though they may continue their internship with the Department of Mental Health, they will no longer be in the school-based assignment. Thank you for understanding the seriousness of the dismissal policy of the McGill program. After this orientation, please go back and review the details of the dismissal policy to ensure that you have clarity on the expectations. The requirements outlined in this manual are to help ensure that you receive the best training to become a successful school mental health clinician. Turning in professional development assignments late, not attending groups, or showing up late to work are all reasons to receive a warning. The best way to ensure this does not happen is by communicating with your supervisor, field instructor, or the USC team. Remember, you are a valued member of the Department of Mental Health and we are so glad to have you participating in the McGill program. On the last page of your manual, you will find a communication flowchart and contact information for individuals with the Department of Mental Health and the University of South Carolina team. This page should act as a guide for you if you ever have questions about the expectations of the McGill program. Please do not hesitate to ask a question or to bring up a concern that you may have. Our goal is that you leave this internship experience feeling confident in your role as a school mental health clinician. Well, that is it. Thank you so much for listening to the virtual orientation for the John H. McGill School Mental Health Certificate Program. We are excited to have you participate in the internship experience this year, and we look forward to connecting with you about your school-based placement. Please feel free to reach out with any questions or concerns. Good luck this year and have a wonderful day.